Greetings. This is James Asask is going to give you a quick crash course. That was a tongue twister there on uh, how to um, use Zoom real quick. First of all, the thing I'm going to go through is going to everything is going to be found right down here under video tutorials. So I want to give you the basics on how to start a meeting real quick. But if you want to get more advanced, everything is down below right there. All right, so I'm here in the meetings, but let's look at our settings first. It's going to be kind of important. Um, if you want people to jump in before you can, you can just turn that on. I know with students, sometimes they get excited and gives people a chance to get in and talk before they get there. Um, so I like to enable that. Um, but that would be up to you. Usually, as a teacher, I'm in there first anyways. I put it on like 20, 30 minutes beforehand. Kind of keep an eye out. And then down here, you have all this password request stuff. Depends if the person link and your monitor you're turning it. Require password for instant meeting. Not really needed. You want to embed the password and meet a link for one click join. That's really the one you want. Okay. Now down below, you can have chat. You can have private chats if you want. If you don't want your students to have private chats, you want to be able to read everything. You can do that. Um, that's up to you. Uh, file transfers. Let me see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And there should be uh, control. Oop, that's going to be about it for right now with this particular. Uh, so host fund, right in, feedback. Yep. So there we go. So we're going to leave that for a schedule meeting. Um, in meeting basic. Right, we got the chat on stuff like that. So that we just went through kind of everything you kind of need. So now you want to go back and you want to schedule a meeting. So I'm going to go up here. I go to my meetings. All right, schedule a new meeting. Name it uh, a, a computer science. Okay, in your description if you want. Pick the date you're going to have it. I got mine next Tuesday. So I'm going to use next Tuesday. We go at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And then we go for a meet for two hours. I leave a little extra time for the kids if they want to hang out a little bit and play. And Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Right there. You can pick down there if it gives you something else. And require meeting. Meeting ID, not really. I require meeting password, nav, video host, audio, both computer audio. All right, and we should be enable mute participants upon entry. Yay, that's an important one just to get everybody there. And we hit save. So we've created it now on that day. Now you want to get it out to everybody. Don't just copy here, go over to copy invitation copy the invitation and then you can oh, let me get out to my students and you can let me see here next meeting da, da, da. Eh, i'll just pretend for right now so i can send it to everybody in the group harvard schools hmtca hey all staff this is pretend i'm not going to send it Right there, it gives me all the meeting. I go Zoom, all right. Schedule the meeting, AP Computer Science, date and time. This will be the meeting right there. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't sometimes give the link here. If you want to make sure there's people to click on the link, you should be able to just kind of, oops. Oh, there it is. I'll do that and then I just copy this here, control C, control V, click OK. And now they have direct meeting access by just clicking on that link instead of having to copy and paste it in. And then you can click send. I'm not going to send it to the group at this time, but that's the best way to send it to everybody. I hope this helps.